guys, everybody, how are you doing? Are you all doing good, right? So that is the Good Samaritan. Have you heard about it before? Yeah. How do you know? Before, before that, let's watch a short movie, okay? A oh, short. Cool. Florence Nightingale was a nurse who saved many lives in the 19th century. She was named after the city of Florence in Italy, where her parents went after they got married in 1818. Her family was rich, and they had two homes in Britain, as well as servants. Florence was an unusual young woman for her time, because she didn't want to go to parties and get married. She wanted to be a nurse and help people. Her family didn't want her to become a nurse because hospitals back then were dirty, horrible places. They were worried about her. In 1851, Florence went to Germany and learned all about nursing. It was hard work, but she loved it. In 1854, lots of British soldiers went to fight in the Crimean War. Army hospitals were filled with injured men, but there were no nurses and many men died. Florence and a team of nurses went to help. Florence worked 20 hours a day to make the army hospital a cleaner and safer place. She brought the men fresh food, she cleaned the hospital beds, and she used clean bandages on the wounded soldiers. Soon, fewer men were dying. At night, Florence walked around the hospital. She talked to the injured soldiers and helped the men to write letters to their families. She carried a lamp, and the soldiers called her the Lady with the Lamp. When Florence returned to England, people called her a heroine because of her amazing work in the Crimean War. Queen Victoria wrote her a letter to say thank you. She continued to work hard in Britain to improve hospitals, and she was given a medal called the Order of Merit. She was the first woman to receive this honor. What do you learn? What I learned here from her life is that she spent her life. Many people, many soldiers were injured, injured, and she spent her life to save their lives as much as she could. So here, today we are going to read. Tonight, the scripture we are going to read is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, verses 30 through 35. In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers, disturbing him of his clothes and beat him and went away and leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road and when he saw the man he passed by on the other side. So too a Levi, when he came to the place and saw him pass by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was. And when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wound, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look up to him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. The meaning of benevolence. Benevolence is a kind of an act of kindness. An act of what? Kindness. Here, even in a short movie, we just learned Florence Nightingale. She was a nurse, just as she could during World War.
ever came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity, pity on him. Do you know pity? Wait, who? The and then the injury man. There's mercy. So all the the Levite, okay, the priest and the Levite saw that wounded man. They pass by on the other side. There, do you think they had, they had pity on him? Well, they they pass by on the other side, right? They pass by on the other side. But here's the the things. Here's the thing. Samaritans are kind of like an ethnic group during that time. A kind of ethnic group. The thing is that the Israelite, Israel, the people of Israel didn't like Samaritan people because they despise them. This do you know? Despite they dislike them because the Samaritan had different belief, beliefs than the Jewish people. And the Jew here, the thing. That man was, according to the scripture, I think that man was a Jewish man. Oh, the, the priest was Jewish, the Levite was Jewish, but they didn't help him. Man, they may have so many reasons, okay? But here's my question. Here's the question going. Why, why do you think it is important to have kindness in our life? Why do you think? Or what is so important about being kind? Can you give me some answer? Why is so? If this world didn't have any kindness, and everybody was just being bad. Yeah. And nobody will help each other. Then the world is gonna like. Be a bad place. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's a good answer. How about other the rest? How do you see? Look at the wall. This day, how 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 do you see the wall? Do you think the wall is the wall is bad become become the wall becomes better and better day after day or worse and worse day after day? Especially look at during this pandemic. Around the wall, door of the wall. Just take a look at it. Many people are starving. Many people are dying of coronavirus. Many people are dying of other different diseases. Many people are in trouble. Many people are in hardship. So. What the world seems today is the worse and worse than before. During the, the, the simple question, during this pandemic, okay, COVID pandemic, what should we do or what should we have in our life to help other people? Question. Kindness, yeah. Even kindness is another. We can say kindness also mean love one another. Like that's why the Bible always teaches to love, love one another. Even when we look at the Galatians chapter five, right? Twenty verses 22, 23, we can see the fruit of the spirit. There also we can see kindness and then what? Love. Love everything. Right? And even the, the end of uh, like uh, uh, First Corinthians chapter 13, the end of First Corinthians chapter 13, what did it say? There will be love, love faith, hope of them, which is the greatest. Which is the greatest? Love. So here, I, I mean, kindness.
kindness and love are in the same bowl. That's why uh, I always, you guys, I always encourage you all to read the Bible. Read the Bible. Look at the life of Florence Nightingale. He, uh, she ignored to get married. She, she grew a team of nurses and went to Crimea to help the injured soldier there. That means she has kindness. She had pity, mercy on the people. On the people who were fighting for freedom. Okay? Today we got freedom in the United States. You got a freedom of speech, freedom of press. You got freedom in everything. This they are fighting for. They have been fighting for so many years in the, in the previous years. In order to have freedom, many people gave their lives. That means in order to in order that in order to have to give you guys freedom, many people gave their life in in the past. And we just it's easy, easy to speak of oh freedom, freedom, just easy, but many people give their life. War is something between bad and evil. That's why I don't think you get this free you get this freedom easily. So whenever you get freedom, just use for the kingdom of to spread the kingdom of God. This one here, I just want. To, why is so important? Why is so important being kindness? Yeah, being kindness. Many people are not the same in our lives, right? We are not the same. We are not the same, especially especially you guys are back to school again, right now during this pandemic. You have to practice social. Distancing. You last year, you did have like a hug, touch each other, say hi to shake hand, whatever. But this this time, can you do that again? Yeah, just the, the world's changing. The world's changing, and everybody, most of the people are under depression because of this kind of pandemic. This pandemic has been closing your job, your school, your country. Many countries are under lockdown. That's the result of pandemic, consequence of pandemic. The result of pandemic. During that time, many people are, are in trouble, in need, in need of help. Sometimes that Sometimes, some people, some people can do not understand other situation. When we look at the life of Florence Nightingale, Florence Nightingale, she wants to help other people. When we look at the life of the Good Samaritan, he wants to help. He wanted to help the wounded man who was, who was beaten by the robber. A group of robbers took, and, took all his property away. He didn't have anything. But a good Samaritan didn't leave him just like that. He just picked him up and took him to the inn. Do you know inn? Do you know inn? Like a hotel. Like the same hotel. In those days they say inn. Like guest house. No, 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 no. Like a guest house. In, yeah. In, in, in. yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah, in. So he took him to the inn, and then he, and then he paid two silver coins. In those days, two silver coins are more big money, I think, right? Big money, two silver coins. I don't know, but that 
what I can make sure is that that's a big money. And then after that, she told, and uh, he told the innkeeper, if you spend more money for him, I'll pay you back when I come back. Just do whatever you can for him, okay? That means here, we can see smarter than people are despised by the Israelite people. Right now, smarter than uh, the Samaritan is trying to help a, a, a Jewish, Jewish wounded man. You see? That's a love. That's, a love. That's called kindness. So let me ask you a question. How can you have kindness? How can you have kindness at school? That's my question. How can you guys that can have kindness at school? Helping. Yeah. It's like a, let me ask you a clear question. Be like a, we said before, like a recently we said, being kind to someone is loving. Okay? Loving. So here, are there people you know of who may be hurt because they get passed by on the other side of the hall? the whole at school, especially during this pandemic. Do you think? Are there any people you see during this time? During your schooling hour? Like uh, some who is, uh, who is of a different color, different race. We, we, we are a, a bit different from these Native American, right? Uh, even in we we are of a, we are of different colors skin color race and then someone who is not very attractive some are very attractive at the same time some are not so very attractive okay and some some people don't seem as smart as others Okay, another one. Some people, maybe, some people may be new at school or in town or in your area. New people, I mean new people who are located, okay? Who are located in your area or at school, who are co coming for schooling as the new year. And then, some people who are physical defect. Do you know physical defect? 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 Joshua, do you know defect? You don't know? Like a disabled. Okay? Like a, a kind of disab disability. Disability. So those kind of people you may see around at some point at your school, on the road, okay, in the street, in your area, or when you are on the way to church, or when you are on the way to shopping, okay? You can see those kind of people. Because here, you, you may see many homeless people. Sometimes, like I want to, I mean, Joshua and I, one summer, right? When we, we saw homeless once, we didn't have pity on him. And then we just, right at that time, right? Even in South Carolina, I, I did the same. Here, what I just want you guys to know, or what I want you to know is that, Every homeless, not every homeless deserve to be homeless, right? They don't want to be homeless, but they, they have different kinds of hardship, problem. That's why they become homeless. So, that's why... 
wherever you go, you may see some people at some point, those who are in need of your help, your love, your kindness, your mercy. That's what Jesus wants, wants us to do action. Like you said, Shane, last week you said, just do it, right? Leave it out. We, we, we Christian people sometimes, other people, what we say non-Christians, they are not anti-Christians. They are not against Christians. They are before Christians. They, they are before, do you know? They who are not Christian yet. So some, sometimes, let me see here. Back home, I'm from Myanmar, right? Myanmar is a kind of Buddhist country. The majority of Buddhist people. So sometimes we can have misunderstanding between Buddhist and Christianity, Buddhism and Christian, Buddhist society and Christian. Cause there are many reasons, right? Some non-Christian don't like Christian. Actions. We Christian people read the Bible, but we don't do it. That's why the book of James, in the book of James, James say, "Faith without deed is what dead." Don't let your faith. Be dead without doing anything that's good for spreading the kingdom of God. That's a kind of heavy kindness. Okay? During, especially during this pandemic, I need kindness. You may need kindness. Everybody needs kindness because we are in different situations. Our situation become upside down because of this pandemic. Right? You can go out like you did before, right? You can go out. You can go to shop, store, Walmart, whatever, right? Even I can. I'm, a, I'm scared. Sometimes I'm scared about going outside. Before 2020, until the end of 2019, I could do it easily without being afraid of anything. I did go everywhere I, want, I wanted to go. But this year, I'm under house arrest. I have been, I have been under house arrest for many months. Because of this pandemic, I'm scared. I don't want to get infected. If I, I'm infected, I can bring many trouble to many people, right? I can bring many tr trouble to many people. I'm, I'm scared going outside this time. Before 2020, I wasn't afraid to go outside. That's why. Here is my another question. How can we practice kindness to someone at school? I'm, you guys are you're a school boy, school girl, so I'm asking you guys a question. How can you practice kindness to someone at school during this pandemic? How can you practice? Social distancing, following, like, a, yeah, sometimes we have to follow the rule. That's another kind of helping other people. We don't want to, but we have to, right? We don't want to. Like we did before, we want to hug, we want to hug, we want to shake hands. Whenever we see each other, when we, whenever we meet each other, we want to play together. 
But this guy, can you do that? No. So, at school, you may have uh, some people. So, this day, when you are back to school, you have to know. It, when I was at school, back home, when I was young, I didn't, I didn't have many friends. Especially if you move to a new school. It's a hard, it was hard, hard to have new friends. In those times, what I longed, longed for was to have new friends. I was, right now, one day, when the, this pandemic was over, many people made everything back to normal. It's back to normal again. If everything is back to normal again, we'll come together again. We'll play together. At that time, you may have some new friend. Those do not have friend. Okay, and then some are poor. Like, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, I was poor. Until then, I'm poor. Right? So, poor me not only poor in what? Not only money. You are sometimes, you are poor in friend. Or we, many, many things. And then, sometimes when we are at school, some people are not included in a group, right? To play or something else. Sometimes, some are ex excluded. At the time, you have to make friends with those who are ex excluded, not included in a group. And at some time, some people are pagan. Lots. Why? <laughs> Do you know? Some people are not first. And one is making up the team. And some, some people have some people are with learning disability, so you have to help each other. Everyone has different kinds of need in our life. That's why here, I just want to. I just want to encourage you guys to have kindness in our life. Right? Showing kindness is important to God. Showing kindness can cheer a person up. Showing kindness honor God. Showing kindness reflects the kindness God shows towards us. This one. If you say you are Christian, okay? You are a Christian. You read the Bible. You pray every day. Trying to help everybody in different ways. Like we said, if you read the Bible, just leave it out or do it. Faith without deed is dead. Sometimes you have to uh, show kindness to your parents. You have to show kindness to your teacher. How? Your parents go to work, get tired of working many hours per day. But you guys just come back home. Even you guys get tired while you, you are at school, right? So we have to have mutual understanding of one another. Helping her, having mercy, kindness to other men, you can show in another way that you pay attention to your parents, you listen to your parents, your teacher. This is another kind of having a showing kindness to other people. You are not alone, you are not the only one in this world. You are with other people. And so we all need what? 
We, kindness. We all need to have kindness. Victoria, what do we need in our life? Kindness. Kindness. Especially during this pandemic, we need kindness. If not, the world will be getting worse and worse. We will become insecure. Do you know insecure? If you are in secure situation, then you will be worrying about something all the time. That's not good. Even some people may be having those kind of problem. That's in those situation. At the point, you have to show kindness. Do you agree with that? That's why if you read the Bible, right? Right now, I'm teaching you guys. I don't, I don't just come, sit and teach. I, I need to read the Bible. I need to prepare the lesson. I need to get encouraged by myself first, and then I have to encourage you, God. The way you can show kindness to me is paying attention, listening to God's word. And then doing it in your daily life, living it up, okay? That's why here we learn today two short story. Florence Nightingale trying to help other people. That's it. Her, because of her kindness. He, she wanted to save many people's lives during World War. Like uh, the, from the parable of Good Samaritan. The Good Samaritan, although he was disliked by the Jewish people, he tried to help the Jewish injured man, right? who was beaten by the robber. It means the kind that we can have regardless of religion, regardless of race, skin color, education, standard of living, whatsoever. Things like you can have kindness. We are created by God. God the so God is the source of kindness. As we are created by God, we have kindness in our heart, in our life, in, in us. We have to show it to other people. Do you agree all? Do you all agree that? Do you all agree that? Okay, let's see how you do it in your daily life. God bless you all. Okay, let's pray. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for tonight, especially for your teaching. You just encourage us to have kindness in our life, especially during this time of pandemic. Every people are in need of kindness, mercy, help, whatsoever, things like that. Though we are in hard situation, because of your kindness, we are safe, we are secure. Likewise, we want to help, we want to reflect your kindness to other people who are around us, at school, at home, on the way, wherever we go. Be with us, especially send the Holy Spirit, guide us, lead us according to your way. I bless all these children to have kindness in their life so that they may be able to help other people during their lifetime. I pray that you will bless these children throughout their life and then bless them to become better people. Make them to become better people. Bless in their life. Whatever, 
whatever they are something from you Lord give them to them all this day we pray in Jesus name Amen